and I can't look on the sent descriptions, but I did enjoy it. All right, I'm going to try throwing these back here a little bit because i got a lot to get through. Okay, this next little, well, I'll do the single tarts and then I'll do the bigger ones. This is from Candles from the Keeping Room, Tropical Sugar, and this is a really light tropical scent, and it was a pineapple shape. I think for my liking, I'm going to have to use two at a time because one was just too light for me. I like it a lot stronger than what I got from one, but it did smell nice. Island Oasis, this is a stronger tropical scent, and this one was pretty good, and it was pretty, I'd call it mm, a medium thrill, and it did last a good while. It was nice. Ultimate Bakery, it's just a nice bakery scent, and I really don't detect a lot of spice in it. But I loved it. Um, pistachio Almond. These are my labels. That's why they're harder to read. Because it just makes my life easier to bag hers. So I can pull them. But um, this is really, really strong. It was a square grubby. And I had to cut it in half. It was just that strong. But I loved it. It was amazing. And then I did a couple of her farmhouse treats. And I can't say enough about her farmhouse treats. You get that really creamy jam with the buttercream icing, and, like, it's just amazing. I can't say enough about that. That is my favorite from her. Pistachio Coconut Fluff. This is a lighter um, pistachio scent. It's heavier on the coconut, and it, it's nice, but it's just a little bit different to me, but it does throw well. This was a sample, and I hated it on Cold Sniff. Um... <clears throat> But on warm, I absolutely loved it. It was like this really strong... I love vanilla, but there's something with that French vanilla smell that I don't like. But hers, I liked it. It was creamy enough that I could stand it. And you got the van real intense vanilla and the pound cake. It was amazing. And I might... I have to wait till she... I have to wait. I got too much wax. But yeah, I would reorder that one. Berry Spun Sugar... <laughs> I ordered two bags of this. That's how much I liked it. Um, it's just a sweet, real sweet sugar with like a berry scent in the background. It's nice. It's a creamy berry. Okay. I will have to cut this video like I always do. And I have to go to part two. So I will be back, you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Alright everybody, welcome back. I am going to move on to part two. Continuing on with Candles from the Keeping Room. Banana Caramel Cupcake. Amazing, runty banana with caramel and like cupcake. I just love it. If I could bath in this, I would. It is just that good to me. Cherry Vanilla Swirl. This one is really strong in the pack, but when I put it in my warmer... I really didn't get a lot of the cherry. I got a lot of the vanilla, but I didn't get a whole lot of cherry. And normally cherry is the predominant scent. So maybe my nose was just out of whack that day, which is quite possible. This one is blueberry fluff. This is just a real nice blueberry scent. Kind of creamy. And like blueberry just lingers in the background. It's nice. It's just a nice mellow blueberry scent. And it is it lasts for a good while as well. This one is peach pie filling, and this one, like I've said before, it to me smells more like an authentic peach with just a little spice. I don't get the peach jam note. I just get a peach scent. My husband doesn't like it, but I do. I don't know why he doesn't. He just doesn't. Everybody's different, I guess. Peppermint meringue, just nice peppermint, real sharp peppermint smell. Throws strong, lasts forever. Blueberry Cheesecake Ice Cream. This um, is a nice blueberry. It's a little different. Like, you get the tanginess from that cream cheese when you smell it. And it does melt nicely, and it does last a good while. So I did enjoy that. Like, I'm branching out trying different scents that I normally would not try. And I'm finding out that I do like them. This is Watermelon Taffy. I love her watermelon scents. I, I just can't describe them. They're just... Um, they're almost the true authentic watermelon, and like this smells like that sugar taffy that you pull apart. I love it. 
almost like the saltwater taffy, really. And then this big bag, I forgot. I did, this is just my farmhouse treats. I did already tell y'all what that smelled like to me. Let's move on to my clamshells. This is from the Bathing Garden Mad Hatter's Tea Party. And this is just a real nice um, minty tea smell. I really enjoy that one. It is strong. Secret Garden. This is just full of a bunch of different mints. It's experimenty and it's just amazing. It does well. Cinnamon Peach Apple. This one's pretty strong, but I think it's heavier on the apple than it is the peach. It's almost a little hard for me to smell the peach, but it's good. This one is Green Meanie. And he smells like grape Kool-Aid melting. I'm not sure what's underneath, but all I really get is like a grape Kool-Aid smell. Better Homes and Gardens, Tropical Pina Colada. It just smells really nice. It's a nice tropical pina colada smell. It's what the name implies. It's just nice. This one is Cherry Blackberry Limeade. And I just love this. It does really well in the light bulb warmers for me. And it's super duper strong. And I just love it. You get the blackberry, you get the lime, and it's just, it's a good scent. This is from Jack B. Nimble Candle Creations Old Fashioned Tea Cakes. This is kind of just like a, a citrusy tea cake kind of smell. And it's, it starts out strong, but it, it quickly dissipates, but it's good. These next two are from Carolina Candle Barn. This one is Blueberry Muffin, and it's just kind of like your fake blueberry smell, but it smells good to me. I like those fake blueberry sweet smells, and it does last a long time. I like to have this going in, like, an electric warmer whenever I'm melting something like Carol's Blueberry Cheesecake Ice Cream. I like to pair those two together. It just helps with the blueberry. I don't know. Then the last one from Carolina, Carolina Candle Barn is Maple Butter, and this is just a really nice bakery scent. Not a whole lot to say, it's just that rich maple bakery smell. It smells good. Alright, from Scentsy, French Toast, it's just what the name implies, cinnamon, sugar, French Toast smell. It smells really good, warmed. And then this was the shocker for me, Febreze Cranberry Pear. I got Febreze in the, what was it? chai latte or something like that and no matter what I did no matter how much I used I could not smell it so I didn't even joke around I just popped two of these in my warmer in my light bulb warmer and this was so strong I walked out I was like what is that smell and like it was this and it is just this really nice kind of cranberry I don't know about pear but I definitely get the cranberry and there is other fruit in there but I was shocked because I was expecting this to be a dud, but it wasn't. On to a couple empties from Sensationals. Honeysuckle Nectar, just your honeysuckle scent. Pretty strong, and it did last forever. Also Sensationals Raspberry Fizz. This is just a real tangy raspberry scent, and it, it, just, it was enjoyable to me. And it lasted forever, so I knew I could put that in my warmer and wouldn't have to change it right away. I love that one. Better Homes and Gardens, Country Kettle Corn. It just smells like kettle corn, which is that sweeter popcorn smell, in case you didn't know. All right, on to some candles that I did get through from Yankee Cider Donut. This is one of those real small ones. Didn't get a scent throw from it, but it is a really small opening, so I, I'm not going to, like, you know, throw a fit. Granny's Toffee Apple Crunch. This one I could smell, and I loved it. It was just a nice caramel toffee-like apple. Didn't really get the, you know, like you did get a little bit of the cake with the bakery. It was enjoyable, and I was happy that I got a throw from it. This is sticky toffee pudding from Slacken. And the bottom of this is a rich, tempting treat that combines melted toffee, pure maple syrup, toasted pecans, topped with brown sugar and whipped cream. I just got a creamy bakery scent from that. It was nice. And then the last candle that I got through, where I believe I bought this from, let me think, Kmart? Doesn't say who makes it. I can't remember. It doesn't say, but I, it's York. York Peppermint Patty scented candle. And it burned well. I was really shocked at how well it burned. And you did smell this. It was a nice kind of chocolate pepperminty smell. 
like a York. So I was impressed with it. Wish I would have bought more. I did buy a Twizzler candle, but I used it already. And I haven't seen these back. I don't know. I'll have to start checking Kmart a little more frequently. <laughs> like, I need more wax. But anyway, thank you guys so much for sticking with me through these long videos of my melts. Um, take care. Have a great day. And happy melting, everybody. Bye.